Hey you guys, long time no see. I know it, I have not made a video in about two weeks. So um, first, excuse my hair, <laughs> you guys, I have been so busy. And um, today was wash day. So um, basically I, I co-washed, I deep conditioned, and then I uh, twisted up with the Basque Palm Tapioca and I sealed my ends with the vanilla Natty Butter. So yeah, so excuse my hair, but nowadays since I've started a new job and um, still getting used to that, I have to just kind of squeeze in the videos where I can. Um, I don't want to neglect my channel completely. Um, so yeah, so just excuse the hair. I'm all twisted up and as you can see, they just kind of tend to curl up at the end. So and just kind of go wherever they want to go, but whatever. So I am finally back and today I wanted to come and review a product that I had received in a swap from Diva Deb. Hey girl, um, me and her swapped out some products and I've always wanted to try Allocay Naturals products. Like I never have. And the only reason is because the last time I went on there, her shipping, even with her sales to me was really expensive. And I just was not willing to pay that much for shipping. But nevertheless, I got the Allocay Naturals Aloe Berry Gel sent to me. So there it is. And on her site, you can actually order from there and get um, eight ounces for $10. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this review. So the smell, it, it's an all natural product and it smells like a medicated strawberry smell. You know, a medicated strawberries, berries type of smell. I don't care for the smell at all. It almost seems like I need to take some of this out, rub it on my chest, and almost like a Vicks Vapor Rub smell mixed with strawberry and berries. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting from it. So the consistency, as you can see, is that jelly type um, consistency. So that was pretty nice. Uh, the ingredients. So in here, I went to the site to get the ingredients because as you can see, I kind of tore off some of the writing. And I'm not sure if this is a full ingredients list, but this is what she had on there. Uh, it has aloe vera infused with essential oils and berries, botanical blend, coconut oil, almond oil, and natural fragrance. So, I mean, it was pretty, pretty bland. It wasn't very um, a whole lot of whole lot of ingredients and it very well could be the only ingredients in here so um, when I, I use this as a wash and go as my leave-in I use the soul tanicals uh, nut sauce um, I've used that before with my other gels and it worked just fine it's awesome very moisturizing so that was the leave-in that I used for this particular gel and I took very very nice amounts of it because I am heavy-handed with my product so I took a really nice amount of this and smoothed it on and did all of that and it clumped my curls really nicely I must say that I got multiple day hair with this gel very very nicely have no complaints with that um so after it dried the next morning when I woke up and I have never had this to happen with a gel now I will say this the only other two gels I have ever used and I just love them dearly is the Uncle Funky's Curly Magic, the old formula, and of course the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. You guys know that I absolutely love that stuff. So this is my third gel that I have tried uh, besides the Kinky Curly Custard. I like that as well. Um, this is the only other one that I've tried. So typically when I wake up the next day after doing a wash and go with my go-to gels, um, my hair is moisturized, uh, it feels great. It's awesome. Y'all, and I love the owner of this of this company. I mean, she's sweet as can be. She's really positive. Um, I absolutely love her. And I wanted to love this product as much as I like the owner, and I didn't. This product was awful. It left my hair feeling 
dry. It felt like straw. And it was just so dry, y'all. It felt awful. And I have never had to moisturize my hair the very next day after doing a wash and go. Typically, it is three or four days down the line when I would have to moisturize my hair. You guys, with this product, I had to moisturize my hair every single day. And I'm not that chick. I'm way too busy uh, during the week to go back and say, oh, well, this product did not work for me. Let me wash it out and let's do it all over again. No, this curly girl does not have that kind of time. So I had to work with, with you know the results that I had gotten. So I just moisturized every day and um, just tried to add more softness to my hair. I, like I said, I got great definition. Um, my hair was nice and fluffy, but it was so dang dry. Even my scalp was just irritated last week. So y'all, this right here, I will not be using it again. Um, I definitely will not be purchasing this. And um, yeah, it just, it just did not work for me as much as I wanted to. So y'all let me know below because I've heard so many great things about her lemongrass leave-in. Let me know if you guys have tried this gel and let me know how it worked for y'all because this stuff was just, and just in case anybody's wondering, my curl pattern is like 3C, 4A. You know, just in case anybody's curious, but this stuff right here was not the business. So that is my review for the LK Naturals um, Aloe Berry Gel. And um, like I said, just let me know what you guys think about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I am actually about to put out two more videos. So stay tuned. See you guys then. Bye.